About a week or a week and a half ago, I actually had a live streaming on YouTube where I was able to make $3,320 with Pocket Option completely live. And what's crazy about it is that I wasn't the only one making money at that time. A lot of people were following me on my uh, live streaming. I think that we had like 250 people at the same time watching that streaming, um, copying my trades and stuff. And um, I believe that it was very productive since I actually, not only I answered a bunch of Q&A in that specific uh, like live streaming, but I also shared how I control my emotions. You saw me live controlling my emotions and stuff. So I believe that live streaming was very valuable. So what I did today, it was to actually get a part where I traded with Pocket Option and shared it with you. So what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to take that part of that streaming so you can watch it. But don't get me wrong. Even if you watched it before, trust me, it's going to be super insightful for you to watch it one more time right now. And in this little video, I just want to like really thank you and every single person that has been joining this, these videos and um, the live stream, the live streamings that I've been able to have. I've been having a lot more, more uh, consecutive live streamings because you guys have been supporting me a lot. The only way you have to support me in this channel is just by hitting the like button and subscribing and commenting and sharing the video anywhere else. All of that is free. And in exchange, I want to give you my Academy of Binary Options and the Academy for Forex. If you want to become a binary options trader and you don't want to pay anything for a course, you can go to binaryoptionsforbeginners.com and you can get that training 100% free. And if you want to be a Forex trader, you can go to blwtradingacademy.com and that training as well is 100% free. All of that just in exchange for your likes. So that's pretty much it. So, hey, go ahead and enjoy the streaming and I'll see you in a bit. All right, again, this is what we're gonna do. Take a look at this uh, entry. Did anybody take the NZD USD entry that I mentioned at the beginning of the streaming? I didn't take it. And I said it was really up to you, but did, did anybody take it? If you did, just go ahead and share. It should be really fun. So, first thing I'm gonna do right now is actually to set up, all right, we have a good option here, honestly. USD CAD in uh five minute candles oh shoot i missed it all right i'm still entering but the the rally is right here on the next candle all right uh if you don't understand what i'm doing just go ahead and use a demo account all right so today we're going to be doing some uh otc trading with uh pocket option and then we're going to jump into some quadex trading as well with real market right here i want to be on the top one i don't think i'm going to today because i'm not like pushing really hard but uh again what we're going to do first is that we're actually going to set the trading zones you already know that i love having trading zones so pretty much is it like around somewhere you see this manipulation right here kind of you know mess up with everything but I believe at the beginning of this candle or at the highest of this candle could be like a good um, a good trading zone right here. So I won that first one, but let me know if anybody is entering right now. Uh, yeah, I, I noticed this thing. I don't know. My balance looks different. <laughs> Uh, I, honestly, I used to like the, the, the other way, but now it says like the status of your trading account. Like right here, it says guru, right? So I'm not sure how to set up the trading zone. All right. We're going to go step by step. All right. You want to learn how to draw the trading zones? Let's go ahead and do it right now. So the first thing that you're going to do is that you're going into five minute charts all right in the five minute charts what you're going to do is you're going to do you're going to identify the let me just go ahead and get my pen you you're supposed to identify like the retraction points right so you see that this is the downtrend then he did this then he did this and so on so these are the the obviously imaginary right 
that you're actually looking at. Second of all, you're actually going to get, at least in pocket option, you can go right here where it says rectangle. It's actually going to draw like this. And in Quotex, you go to this pencil right here and it says rectangle. So it's pretty much the exact same thing. All right. But I'm going to do it with uh, pocket right now. So that then what you got to do is actually draw what you think the zone is. Okay. So for instance, right now, I believe that the highest point of this candle would be like a good zone. Uh, like the, the lowest point. And then obviously this little manipulation that happened there is part of it. So we obviously missed this one right here. But uh, you see the point, right? I, I'm, I'm showing you like the basic, like the drawing part. All right. This is the drawing part only. Does that make sense? Now, after you actually do this, what you got to do it's just wait. Most of the times, obviously, you got to find like a middle point where the zone, which means the resistance or support line, is actually going to match the area of the RSI. So most of the times what happens is that when the RSI reaches that level, usually enters the trading zone. So that's where you have a rally. All right. Is that clear? Like, like how to actually find a balance? Let me just go ahead and find it again. Well, here I already found it. Well, let me just go ahead and find another one. Euro, USD, and OTC is crazy, so we're not going to trade with it. This one right here is not a clear trend. It was an uptrend here, but now it's not a clear trend, so we're not going to trade with it. Now, here's a good uptrend. And uh, again, we're going to go with the first thing that I identify is this. Is doing this. You see? Is doing this. So this, I believe, is going to be the next trading zone. Obviously, this gets better with experience, right? So I'm going faster than, you know, than probably some people are going to go. I would say that this is the trading zone. I'm not even going to go and say, hey, you know what? The trading zone is up here because the RSI is too far away. So you might actually find it like somewhere here. But if you use this trading zone, then you're not supposed to enter at the beginning of this trading zone. Why? Because it's too high. It's not touching the RSI. If it gets into the zone, then we're going to have like a rally. Now, another confirmation that you can do is you go into one minute and then you identify, oh, I see this is the trading zone, right? Uh, let me just go ahead and grab it like somewhere there. Oh, this is the trading zone, right? So in one minute candlesticks, you have a way thinner trading zone in five minutes you saw it was higher right right now we're not supposed to enter yet because in five minutes the rsi hasn't touched so we wait all right we wait and i would say like again where it was this is the trading zone so i'll just wait does that make sense semi trader yeah you can use an indicator i rather always go manually then trust in just an indicator, but it's up to you. The video is blurry. You need to go and turn it into 1080p. Change the, uh, you know, the, um, what's it called? The resolution. And uh, the pair is Euro JPY in OTC right now. Okay. So again, this is another great example, but right now it's kind of, you know, jumpy and stuff. So we can assume that the trading zone might actually be like around this area, like this area right here, you see, but this is not confirmed. How can you confirm it when the RSI touches the area? All right. Not just by the zone. This one looks too bumpy, you see. This one looks perfect. All right. If you can enter, go ahead and do so. But right now, I'm going to draw the zone right there. This is like the zone. So I actually go into one minute candlesticks and I'll wait for entries, which is probably this one right here. And you already know the, you know. The bear. By the way, this is AUD USD in uh, OTC. I'm not going to trade like aggressive today because, like I said, today's Friday. You know, I can see the live later, please. Yeah.
uh, sorry that I'm not like really answering all the questions like immediately. All right. It's just that I need to focus on it. You guys can rewatch the video many times. All right. As many times as needed. Some people would actually ask like, Hey, Chris, why is it that you entered a position when the 50 hours in one minute is not like in the level, you know, or it's not overbought. It's not oversold. But basically, again, what I'm teaching you right now is how I enter my rallies. All right. This is a good rally right there. Why? Because in five minutes, even though it's a, a uptrend, it's actually giving us some entry opportunities like big jumps and then it drops big jump and then it drops. OK, in five minutes, it's just going to be one candlestick, one big candlestick could be green, could be red. But what you're targeting is the small candlesticks in between in one minute candlesticks. All right. Uh, moving average. Yes. 50 SMA. 50 SMA. Simple moving average. What should I do if markets are not respecting any of your strategies? You talked about it, but I lost the video. You just stop trading and then trade the next day. Hey, hit the like button, people. Hit the like button. Oh, I saw someone made a donation. Thank you. I got over 260 people watching. So you, we should be like around 200 likes at this point. Uh, so we lost that first one. Then I want another one. Most likely, if I wasn't like in live streaming, I would have placed more positions here. And take a look. Right now, we're going to have a new entry. Why? Because the stochastic, it's showing like it's going to cross going down. All right. So again, I'm taking, obviously, my trades more conservatively this time. But you know what I mean. I want this streaming to be more of Q&A as well than just live trades. If I win this, I'm already in profit because I won the first one, the second one I lost this. So right now it would be like three, one and I'm being distracted, you know? Awesome oscillator is not an indicator that I truly trust. Honestly, I don't trust it much. It's, 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 it, it doesn't respect that much the movements. Before I have a new entry, I want to go and see. All right, the five minutes. Right now, I have I had a new entry and I lost that first one. But one thing that I actually took in consideration for this entry is that the five minute candlestick is about to expire. So it's actually better to wait for that new candlestick to start to get formed. But again. If you want to trade like me, I, I take some risks, you know, and that's why I make that much money sometimes. Sometimes I lose. It's, it's fine. Uh, right now, it's jumping too much. I'm not going to enter. If I was trading alone, I would enter more. You remember the previous session? I had like $3,400, but right now I'm not just going to. I want to answer your questions. Uh, but you guys can catch those jumps. All right. If you guys are trading either with demo or real account, if you guys want to trade today, then those jumps are super important for you to make money. OK, hold on, because I'm looking at good entries right now. Could be that there's going to be like a change on trending in five minutes. It could be. Why? Because I noticed that the stochastic is like not pushing down and the RSI is like completely broken. The R the uh, 50 level. But. We're going to see how that goes. Honestly, the trend looks pretty strong in this area. So I know for sure that the price will actually start to retract in one minute. Not sure, but it will. You got to be very lucky with this strategy when it comes to catching one or several good entries. OK, like right now, I'm actually catching a few some good entries. I'm not sure I'm trading with one thousand dollars, by the way, because I usually trade with um, two thousand. But today I decided to trade with 1,000. I'm not going to enter anymore. Right now it's completely oversold and uh, overbought in this area. You remember the other strategy that we used to use with overbought and oversold conditions. So this could actually lead us to have better results. I'm not sure. All right, let's just go ahead and uh, answer some questions. Lift more J. Thank you. Nice. I won that one. No. Okay. I lost it. All right. I thought I had won that one. With that one, I would have been like, um, 
I would have been like um, a profitable site. Right now, I don't think so. Do you remember what was my initial balance? I don't. It was like seventy six thousand. Yeah, I'm probably probably like breaking even or something like that. The rally will continue. Trust me, the rally will continue. Right now, there's a cross on stochastic, but yeah. Hopefully, this is making sense to y'all. Go ahead and smash the like button as usual. All right. Uh, let's see if we have another pair going here with our uh, trading zones. Oh, this one actually got into the zone. Did anybody enter here? This was your JPY in OTC. Probably you lost a couple, but take a look at the rally. It was just amazing. And now it formed a brand new low point like somewhere there if i actually go in to find minute candlesticks then i'm gonna see that this is the actual trading zone this is getting crazy it's like winning and losing i don't know what's going on with this pair uh there is going to be a drop yeah there's gonna be a drop how many candlesticks i'm not sure but this one i want it uh that one that i lost for one second was kind of weird it was bad luck. I'm not saying it was manipulated. It's just what bad luck. If uh, the candlestick starts to go up again, then it's going to have a new rally. But take a look. It did exactly what I thought it was going to. Uh, all right. Uh, let's just go. I'm going to take a couple of minutes to answer some questions here. Where can I learn binary options? I'm sorry. Why do you not use it? I can't. All right. I got a lot of questions. Sorry. Oh, thank you. Uh, 10 euros. All right. Thank you very much. This is from Polius. I don't know how to say your last name. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've followed you since May of 2021 and your content is much appreciated. Looking forward to seeing you in Dubai in March. Awesome. Yeah. I think that trip is canceled, but uh, I'll let you know. Thank you. Uh, go ahead and smash the like button, people. My codex, there's no option. All right. I have a lot of questions. Uh, have a Q and A to make us some win money. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and hit some questions right now. I'm gonna try to answer the best ones. All right, probably not all, because there's a lot of questions. But yeah, um, Can you make one video which shows the analyzeinvesting.com? Yeah, maybe I will. When do you think it's better to trade, day or night? Depending on where you live, but to me, it's day right now. <laughs> uh, do you ever come to Arizona to speak about trading? No, I've never been in the U.S. There is no night in binary options. <laughs> yeah, in OTC, you can trade at any time. Thank you. Uh, one OTM and two in the money is good. Doing Quadex. I don't have pocket option account. It's the exact same thing in Quadex. Uh, thank you. It says what? <laughs> Can I use this strategy in Wicked too? Yeah, if it's OTC, yeah. How do we know the best days and hours of trade? um just avoid news and usually from like 12 gmt to like 15 gmt take a look at this rally that i'm gonna catch right now the stochastic in five minutes is about to cross so we're gonna try to catch some jumps in one minute and i believe we're gonna have a very good rally right now we already had one but we could have another one uh, two wins, one loss. Awesome. Thank you. If markets are not respecting a stop trading, how long? One day. Or if you have a couple of hours, then stop for a couple of hours. Willem R or the market, which is best? I don't use any of them. You're welcome. Uh, Quotex is the same. I'm going to trade on Quotex, but it's exactly the same. How do you originally learn to trade? On Google, on YouTube. Been following you since your RK option five minute strategy. What made you switch to one minute time frame? Well, the profitability. I make more money like this. Come to California. I will. I promise you. 
uh, moving average is below the candles. Yes, in one minute, yes. But if you actually jump into five minute candlesticks, you're gonna realize that it's a strong trend going down. Uh, Chicago, how you doing? Uh, I got robbed. Uh, this sounds like just, you know. Uh, which is legal USA, Texas, quarters or pocket? I don't think any of them is regulated and I'm sure legal. Awesome. Is it possible to open two pocket option account? No. Uh, then get... All right, Rashida, based on the large amount of emails, I'm not going to I'm not going to give you the price. Jesus, it's like 10 emails a day asking for the price. Come on, man. I, I know I know I didn't give you the price. I'm busy, but the amount of email emails is just insane. I'm not going to I'm not going to give you the price. Sorry. Indicator setting. Yeah, you need to go to the video that I actually have linked on my Telegram channel. By the way, are you guys part of my Telegram channel? Is 100% free, and I share everything in in here. You know, signals. When I don't live stream, I share my signals in the Telegram channel. So I highly recommend you to be there. Uh, what is the pair? What pair? Uh, right now, I'm actually looking at AUD USD on OTC. Awesome. Thank you for the nice words. You trade on a weekend? Not really. Uh, if you trade OTC, yeah, you can trade it during the weekend, but honestly, I don't. I take the times to rest. My money, my initial money when it was uh, when I became a profitable trader was $20. It's a long story. How to identify if the RSI is going to be respected again in five minute candles. You see, I, I want these trades, the couple of them. <clears throat> Sorry. Is it possible to raise an a 100 account to 10,000? Yeah, it's possible. You got to risk a lot, but it's possible. What's the difference between the five and one minute? Look, uh, people asking in regards to this strategy again. <clears throat> Sorry. Go to my uh, Telegram channel, and I actually have one pinned message with this video. This is the video that you need to check. I explain everything in regards to the strategy on that video. So take like 20 minutes of your day and watch the video. If you don't understand it, go ahead and do it again and again and again and again. Okay? How do you discover your strategy? It was more like price action knowledge and a and b testing pretty much origin video i have a video like story of my life or something like that i talk about it in there <laughs> uh, all right all right <laughs> All right, cool. So uh, let's just go ahead and see if we have another setup ready to trade. This These ones are gone. Gone. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, let me just go ahead and take a look. This one in five minutes does have like this trading zone right here. I don't know how long is it going to take to reach this level, but it, it should be fun. It's not 100%, like nothing is 100%, but you know, it's not as strong as, let's say this one right here. This is the zone in five minutes. Uh, let's just wait. This one, again, U AUD USDs, again, like kind of giving us the entry, if we go to 15 minutes, is a downtrend. So I would say that is a really good trading zone. We're going to wait for uh, one minute candlesticks to actually get in the zone. And uh, maybe we can have a few entries. Let me see how much money I've made today. I don't think I've made much, like probably like $300. Oh, $1,400. All right, that's good. $1,500 on a Friday. That's actually good.
Euro TRY. I never traded that. Did I ever blow my account? I blow like four accounts. <laughs> you welcome, Mohammed. I'll think about it, Rashida. I'll think about it. Uh, Meta Trader. I don't know. For Forex directly? I don't think so. All right, this one's gone. Uh, I can go ahead and give this a try, you know, this strategy like this on Forex. Uh, that's actually something I really thought about before. Like, hmm, can I actually test this strategy on Forex? And yeah, maybe that's content for a new video. Should be fun. I have pretty good, uh, you know, like trading zones here, but in five minutes, sometimes it takes a little bit longer for you to actually get to this level, like to these areas. Let's see which one's closest. This one's not even the zone. This one's closed, GBP AUD on OTC. GBP AUD on OTC is like kind of close. So let's monitor that one. All right, got a lot of questions. Hey, hey can you hit the like button more? Uh, we have a lot of people watching right now and uh, very few likes compared, you know? <clears throat> All right, learning to trade king, it's kind of, I don't know, kind of, uh, I hope you don't work for pocket option. I'm sorry, for IQ option. It's just like, you're just commenting a bunch of negative stuff without proof, so I'll just silent you. Uh, USDJPY is good. On OTC, you mean? Moving average period is 50. You know what? I'm going to switch to Quadex right now and start getting some setups, all right? Um, Jesus. The thing is that with Fridays, uh, we usually have these crazy movements. Take a look. This is the trading, the latest trading zone that we have. So we'll have to wait forever. <laughs> all right. This one does look good. This is like the trading zone. All those wicks make it really risky, you know? So I'm just gonna reduce it. GBP, this is low payout. Uh, hold on, gotta take a pill. Uh, now nah, it's too jumpy, you're a USD. See it now. In real market, everything looks crazy today. Uh, Look, this does look good right here, but all the wicks uh, probably did to the news. It's kind of crazy. So, yeah, that's the reason why I'm focusing on pocket. That's one of the reasons, right? Hold on. I met a poll over there on, uh, what's it called, on the Telegram channel uh, asking if you guys played with this gambling site. It's a gamble casino sign. Hopefully that's actually clear. But I ask you guys if you guys were, uh, were using Rubet. Is anybody here using Rubet? Not that I'm going to use it right now. But just wondering because, you know, on Twitch, I actually made a streaming, playing, and then trading. And it was kind of fun. Let me see how many followers I have on Twitch. 124. Yeah. Maybe. Um, it says I don't have videos, but I did stream. All right. 
It doesn't matter. Very close to the 200 likes, people. AUDCAD has potential in real market or OTC? What are you guys are talking about? This one? No, this one, no. You, you, you must be talking about the uh, OTC. Where is it? Yeah, it's got potential, but the zone is kind of far away. Oh, this one looks good. NZD USD is looking for a call. It's kind of breaking right now, the zone. So the zone probably is higher than, uh, than I thought. Let me see the 15 chart. Yeah, this one does have some good potential. So uh, here we can have a pretty fun rally on NZD, USD, on OTC. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at it. We do money in crypto casinos, mostly on Limbo, Dice, and my Oh, nice. Does uh, Twitch have a shorter delay? I think it does. And it has a better quality video, I guess. Uh, all right. Um, let's see if this one drops a little bit more. It should. It should drop a little bit more, I think, to get more entries. But we're going to see. Looks cool. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I mean, it's just a gambling side. Again, a gambling side. This crash is one of my favorites. But I actually played another one that it was for dices and stuff. All right, this one looks good. Um, uh, the payout, 92. All right. The point of these streamings, people, and of my videos is that you guys learn to trade on your own. Okay, if you guys are able to trade on your own, then you guys won't need me or anybody else. So you guys have to like really, really go into my videos and learn what I'm doing. Okay, it's not just about copying my trades. It doesn't, it doesn't know. All right, we want another one. I think we're like around $2,000, 2,400. And I think that's, Gonna be pretty much it for today. We've been uh, 30 minutes here. Let's see if we have something here. Oh, it was kind of close. Real markets today, kind of weird. Uh, take a look. Right now, we could have like a nice rally, but I don't trust the fact that it has broken so many times the, the moving average. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Cran, I'm happy for you, man. Thank you for the likes, people. You guys are amazing. You guys are awesome. Um, minimum deposit for countries varies in pocket options. I'm from South Africa, and the minimum is 50. Yeah, the 50 is the minimum in pocket everywhere. Awesome. Awesome that you guys are learning. Um... Let's see if we find one more. Uh, I want to see how much money I've made. I always cover my ID because people are like, oh, I want to copy a trace or whatever. It hasn't, it hasn't updated. Oh, look at NZD USD again. Man, this, this, this is like our, our pair of the day or something. This one, I would tell you guys to wait. And this this is gold. What I'm gonna teach you right now is gold. I will teach I will tell you guys to wait because the stochastic is about to cross going down. So yes, we might have good entries right now, but it's way better to entry to enter positions when the stochastic is about to cross going up. So this time I'm not gonna enter and wait until it crosses going down and then it starts crossing going up. I hope that actually makes sense. Right now, literally it crossed. So if it drops a lot, then I can enter because it already crossed. What we were trying to avoid was actually the cross and we did it. So right now we can have entries because it already crossed. Does that make sense? So if you would have entered right here because you thought, oh, okay, this is a great moment because it actually entered the zone, then this candle can be red. If this candle is red, it doesn't matter if you enter at the beginning of the candle, you would have lost it. But I waited for the drop and then I enter on the drop and then boom. Oh, 
Oh, it's good to know that you guys uh, can deposit less. I thought it was 50, but if you can deposit less, that's awesome. Uh, Boma, what do you mean methods? What methods do you mean? Thank you, Daw, for the info. It says that you can even deposit $1. I guess with crypto, everything is possible, right? All right, we want another one, people. All right, before this trade that we just won, we were at $2,400 in profits. So I guess we're going to be right now like a 2000 no, like $3,300 or something like that. So that's actually good. I'm done. I'm done with uh, Pocket, by the way. Not going to trade anymore. Uh, I want to see how much I ended up making with uh, Pocket. We missed that entry on Quotex. Let me just go ahead and cover this. $3,320. I believe we deserve more likes. For this last time, I made three thousand four hundred. If I'm not mistaken, do you remember that I literally seconds ago I said that the next candle was gonna be green? Hopefully, you enjoyed the content of the streaming, and uh, yeah, you had a good time just like I did. Not only in the streaming, but in this specific video as well. To me, that's one of the most valuable live streamings that I've ever had in my entire life. So hopefully, you enjoyed it as well. Go ahead and smash the like button if you found value at any point during the video and stay tuned for a lot more content. Thank you for watching people and uh, I'll see you next time. Peace.